Hey guys, Erin Wade, your Western astrologer here, dropping in to give you the astrological update for the second half of January 2024. I cannot believe we are already in this year. I hope you all had a wonderful, happy holiday season and a fantastic new year. Now, this year of 2024 is really starting out with some very powerful energies that we can all take advantage of. What I'm mostly going to focus on in this recording is the sign of Capricorn. The sign of Capricorn is highly activated for this month of January. Okay, first of all, what we've got going on, it starts out with a new moon in the sign of Capricorn on January 11th. Anytime we have a new moon, it really triggers an opportunity for new beginnings that are related to the zodiac sign in which the new moon takes place. So that triggers this opportunity for growth related to the sign of Capricorn. Not only that, but we've also got Mars and Pluto going through the sign of Capricorn. Now, Mars influences or rules over our physical drive, our physical willpower. Pluto influences our spiritual drive and our spiritual willpower. Pluto is the bringer of extremely powerful transformational processes. Okay, so we've already talked about the sun and the moon and Mars and Pluto. Well, on January 14th, Mercury enters into the sign of Capricorn as well. Mercury rules our mental function. So we've got all this activity going on in the sign of Capricorn that is really about transformation and growth. Okay, now the sign of Capricorn could be described as the most ambitious sign of the zodiac. The sign of Capricorn is what we call the cardinal earth sign. When I say cardinal, what I'm talking about is a force that comes through. It kind of projects us into new energies. Now, in the element of earth, this is all about stability and structure. Capricorn is ruled by Saturn. Okay, Saturn is the bringer of discipline and responsibilities. Saturn likes to be the boss. Okay, in fact, the sign of Capricorn is most commonly represented by the mountain goat, the mountain goat that will take advantage of every little foothold so strategically to get to the top of the mountain and be on top like a boss. The sign of Capricorn, the motto for the sign of Capricorn is I use. This is about using what you have in your environment to build what you want. Okay, it's not about buying new things to build from. It's about building with what you already have and making it to the top of the mountain and be on top like a boss. Now, again, we all experience this opportunity. And to top this off, on January 20th, we have one of the most powerful transits that we could possibly have. What's going on here is we're going to have the sun, which the sun is our vital force. The sun, the sun is what brings us our energy to go do what we got to do. The sun will be in the exact same spot as Pluto, which again, Pluto is the bringer of very powerful transformation. Okay, really, Pluto is all about a death and rebirth process. No, I'm not talking about anybody dying. I'm talking about what no longer serves you. Put that to death. Flush it out to make room for new, powerful beginnings. That's what Pluto wants. And he works so powerfully when he's in the exact same spot as the sun. Now, not only that, but this all takes place at 29 degrees and 59 minutes Capricorn. Now, for those of you who don't know what this means, it's a very, it's the most anoretic degree we could have, meaning it's coming in with extreme force. It's the last minute before the sun and Pluto actually move into the next sign, which is the sign of Aquarius. Okay. When anything is right at the very end of a zodiac sign, it's powerful. Okay, now not only that, but the sun and Pluto will be making an exact trine, meaning a very, very harmonious connection with the moon that will be at 29 degrees and 59 minutes Taurus. Not only that, but the sun, the moon is going to be waxing, getting bigger. Basically, this all means that the sun, the moon, and Pluto are all harmonizing together to bring in the energies, to enforce that transformational process that we're all trying to bring in for ourselves, okay? Now, again, 
You don't have to have any planets in the sign of Capricorn to be experiencing this. I don't have any planets in the sign of Capricorn, and I'm sure I'm excited about this transit. It's really what, where is the sign of Capricorn in your natal chart? Which house does the sign of Capricorn rule? Okay, or we could be coming through your house of career, your house of relationships, your house of money, your house of self, your house of transformation, your house of communication, your house of physical health. There's all these different areas of your life that this could be manifesting through. Now, when you get a reading with me, I always offer you a free video recording. We go through all the houses in your natal chart so that you can go back to that recording to review it and see not just what this transit is doing in your own natal chart, but see with any astrological forces, what area of, of your life they specifically trigger for you. Okay, now what a way to start out this year of 2024, extremely powerful energies. Now, if you would like to schedule a reading with me, you can schedule through the East West website, which is eastwestbooks.org. When you go to that website, there's a little link on top that says readers and healers. When you click there, you'll see all the wonderful readers and healers that East West has to offer. And you can see how to schedule a reading with any of us. They have it set up. So it's very, very self-explanatory and very user-friendly friendly. Okay, you guys, so I do hope to hear from some of you. And until next time, namaste to all of you.